We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is, watch your back. Hi, I'm your host today, Bumpy Big Squiggums. We are Xeno Not Tooing. They're early access years, and I totally have a clue of what's happening right now. Yep, remember everything. It's great. It's pretty darn great. Okay, so... Warden, Warden, Schwarden, Gordon, Borden, got it. Um, Xenobiology, that's going to advance the storyline, the plot, laser weaponry, or Elenium power. We're going to probably go with the power. Uh, harnessing is going to unlock improved aircraft technologies. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very important. Um, monies would be great. Oh, we're going to make it, I think. I, yeah, I think we're going to make it. We're going to get that sweet $240,000 extra dealy, so that'd be good. All right, let's just, uh, I guess, advance time. And boom. Xenobiology. Now we can go knock stuff out with our beatdown stick. All right, make sure you guys pause and read. And we're going to go assign a new research project. Uh, the quantum teleportation. Uh, what? Uh, study of several important components within the UFO may have allowed better understand how they can visit our world. Cool, 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 cool. Millennium power. Start the research, please. Do want to try to get this done before the next month. Uh, engineering, that's fine, probably. Well, one of our snipers is hurt, and the sniper that is hurt is the one that has the... Okay. Sniper rifle that's chilling. I think we're going to maybe get the accelerated machine gun, or maybe we skip it, and we go directly into the laser weaponry. I think I might go that route. I think I'm also going to do another sniper rifle. I think that's fine. And maybe a pistol. Okay, that seems possible and doable. All right, what are we looking at for overall base building stuff? Six days in the living quarters, three on the laboratory, which again is going to give us more uh, scientists. We probably need more living quarters, to be honest. How many do we get for this? So, 14. Well, that'll be useful. Um, because we're gonna get what five the laboratory worker people. Right? Don't we get um? Don't we get to bring more scientists in? Research capacity so seven. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna want at least one more living quarters. Okay, we broke now, so we need our funding desperately. And we shall have it. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Our expenses are pretty expensive, I, I suppose, but North America, the Soviet Union, Europe, Asia, Pacific, Latin America, and Africa have all tossed a whole bunch of money toward us. So, how does this how does this work? This is based off of how much we gained the first time around. So th this is what we gained. We got three. We got three million and thirty nine thousand five hundred from the various different places. Over here, this is telling us North America is happier with us all the way down. So everybody's happier with what we've done. We've lowered panic, I guess, across the board. And we've accomplished a few things. And our overall expenses went up slightly. Not that much. It's up to 100. Actually, did it go up? Yeah, it went up. So, sorry. I don't know why I'm... I, I'm looking I'm like, wait. No, this is lower and this is higher. I was, I was getting confused for some reason. I don't know. My brain stopped working for the, the negative numbers. Anyhow, so this is 110000 more than we spent last uh, month. 
And uh, so the total gain versus expenses is 786,000 more than we made last month. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And we can show the expenses report. We can see upkeep and all the various things that we've got. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, what are we what are we looking at here? Two days and five days. And over on this side of life, we've got the warden armor. And I think we've got more warden armor. So warden armor, warden armor, defender armor. Warden armor. Warden armor there. And then do I do I want to put anything on you? I mean I could, but I don't know that I need to. So I think we just have what, like one extra warden armor? I guess I made like six. I'm not really well, again, we're gonna have more people doing stuff. It's it's fine. It's not a big deal. I, I might have overdone it a little bit. It's, again, probably fine. We only really needed four. If uh, if memory serves correctly. So let's just double check that again, right? So we have one. We have two. We have three. And we have four. But we're making one more and we have one more. So we have a total of six. It's It's fine. All right, Decepticon Zombie getting stronger by the day. Let's throw some more grenades on you. I think we only have five. Wait, so... Might not be the best plan. You can you can survive one TU penalty. I think that's fine. All right, Falconer, you are ready to be back on non-assault duty, but I might keep it on assault duty. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we don't have a different gun for you, but apparently your strength is much higher now than it was. I, I'm not sure what's going on with you, but there you go. Perfect. Oh, oh, it's because the warden armor got put on. It's lighter. It's true. Alright, that also means that you are now uh, mighty impressive. We, we can make some stun batons. We're going to have to do that at some point. But not necessarily just yet. I'm also going to go with a couple of uh, free uh, shots there. Well, for extra shots, if need be. Probably we'll never end up needing that many, but you never know. We could get in a real nasty shootout at some point, and then, then you know, we guns to need it at that point. It's going to be like, ha na 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 Ah, no, 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 no. All right, uh, we are going to build another ballistic pistol, so I think we're okay right now. Jenny Rico, since you're our only sniper that's actually here and ready to go, uh, let's just take a peek. How close is Eric Fisher's close? Uh, let's 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 pass a couple more days. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully, nothing pops up. That we need to deal with immediately. Uh, just gonna double check. That's fine. Vehicles are there. Aircraft. There's not really much we can do. We don't have a hangar for those. Accelerated cannon for the interceptors. I think that's an upgrade. Right? Yeah, 20 fire arc, 100 ammo, 5 damage. Let's see, what is it again? Uh, accelerated cannon, 7 damage. Has no ammo? What is? What? I don't know what that means. I mean, I, I know what no ammo means, but I don't know why it's there. Maybe inside the ship it, it has a hunt. So, essentially, it's got... Two more damage. It's got the same arc. The range is three. The range is three. Oh, sorry. It's got a 30 fire arc versus the 20. It has armor penetration. One armor penetration. Um, okay, so pretty good. Pretty good upgrade. 
gonna be a while before we actually get the next thing going there, so maybe I buy a couple of those. That that could that could work for us. Uh, it's gonna take us a bit of time, of course, before we're actually there to get it. But let's go with air weapons. We'll start production on at least one of them. It's expensive, but it only takes the same amount of time. I think we're fine with what we've got right now. All right, let's just take a look at weapons, armor, then equipment, the stun gun, and the stun baton. If he's on a mechanical enemy, like the EMP damage. This is often an effective way of killing robots. Oh, thanks for letting me know there are robots that exist. That's going to be fun slash terrifying. Short range weapons designed to render enemy units unconscious by inflicting stun damage. Again, it's fine. Uh, 15 stun, 22 EMP. 20 stun, 30 EMP. So the baton is clearly the better choice. General. Six tiles. Three shot capacity. I definitely think we should uh, buy a couple stun guns. I don't know where to put that in the overall hierarchy of what we're doing, though. Yeah, figure it out. Again, worst case right now, we're looking at like a week's time before... It's over a week before everything is finished. So. Hopefully... Okay. Okay, we got another laboratory. Can't really do much with it right now, but it, it's there. We gotta wait for the living quarters to actually show up. Okay. Keep going. I think at this point we could probably put our sniperman back in. Eric Fisher is at the 57% mark. I'm gonna sign you I'm back on into the mix. And we're gonna give you your super sniper rifle again, which we now have two of, I believe. Right? Did oh wait, you already have it, right? You already have it, okay. We'll give you the super sniper rifle as well. I don't think I need to change these out. Uh, one TU penalty, that's fine. You have an absurdly large amount of TUs anyway. And we could even go and drop one of these on you. That feels fine. Okay, our squad is essentially ready for combat again. It's, it's risky. 33 HP going in there. 43, it's a little risky, but uh, theoretically, given the right positioning and a little bit of luck um, and good RNG, which again, it's a little bit of luck, uh, we'll be fine. All right, the living quarters are done. Now we do need to view the base. All right, we got more coming, but this means now we can actually go here and we can hire some scientists. And we can hire up to the total that we can get, which would be 19. We still need more, but that's okay. It's going to get our speed going a little bit quicker. Uh, when the next living quarters are done, we're also going to up... Actually, I should have maybe not done that. I should have maybe stopped at, like, 15 and then got the last remaining uh, engineers. Because we could definitely hire up to 12 engineers. We can hire up to how many scientists? Sorry. Um... Research capacity is 19, so that's actually done. Okay. Okay, that kind of works. Accelerated. Oh. That's, that's next. Okay, okay. okay. Close. We're going to go over here. Uh, CLG is going to get uh, this taken away and this added in. And we'll drop that. Alright, he's got 69 time units. His accuracy is pretty awful. Or her, in this case. Uh, accuracy pretty awful. Eh, it's, it's okay, across the board. The accuracy is always going to be a little bit lower with the, the armor and probably the shield lowers accuracy. No, it doesn't. Well, again, we'll take as many shots as we can, given the opportunity. And hopefully, the more shots we take, the higher our accuracy will go up. 
Do I want to swap anyone back out? Bring anyone else in at this point? Because I think everyone is recovered except for, yeah, except for Commissar being fully recovered. Uh, Gabriel. Pretty good. 57 accuracy. Almost think maybe we should swap you into a. Uh... Oh, maybe not. Septicon mm. zombies' accuracy is still pretty low. TU's at 72. 73, technically. Also 73. Uh, it's fine. Like I said, it's going to be kind of flowing. People will be coming in and out and doing stuff. It's going to be all right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We'll, we'll make it work. Uh, what is your accuracy at? Sixty-five. That's not great, but it's not terrible. And we do get a chance to let you shoot stuff fairly frequently. And we even have this. So a little bit of armor for you. Okay, I think we're nearly ready. Oh, okay. Staff just showed up. Cool. Not really. Manage soldiers. We can recruit them. So is there anybody like like stand out? Like Mark Voss, pretty good. Except HP is horribly low. Um, very very low HP. Uh, Set Set Satoru, Fujimoto, bravery a little low, but everything else pretty good. And Wako Wyatt or, or Watt, excuse me. Um, eh, not bad. To use horrible though. Accuracy pretty bad too. All right, so not very good. I, I take it back. Pretty pretty awful. All right. Well, again, I'm not in the in the position to recruit anyone right this minute. So our scientific stuff should be cut down significantly. Oh yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah, that's that's much lower. Granted, some days have passed by now. All right, the Elenium power is done. Feel free to pause and read, folks. And now we can do... Oh, I didn't think we were going to get a dropship immediately. That's, um, okay. And the Phantom Interceptor, do you think this dropship allows us to get uh, 10 or 12, 15 people? I don't know. I'm excited, though. All right, we already have the research done. I'm just going to double check. Oh, no, 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 we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. Um, oh, and we have to research the dropships and stuff. That is interesting. I like the idea of bringing more people into combat with us, but I like the idea of getting something I can do that's less bad in the air right now. So I'm going that route. I don't know that it's necessarily the best play. Laser weaponry might even be the better play at this stage, but I'm going to go with that laser weaponry, then the dropship. I thought that that would actually just allow us to create the dropship. Not the case. Base upgrades. What's this? Upgrades all of our existing generator structures to Elenium generators. Improving the power output from 50 to 80. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. I... Not a lot happening over in the America of the North uh, variant or quadrant of the U.S. Or sorry, of the world. All right, stun gun, sure. What what did, what did that mean? I I finished making. I I didn't pay enough attention to figure out what we were making. Oh oh oh, uh, this this thing. I only made one, so Angel One, you're gonna get the. Oh, it automatically went in. Oh, wait, what? Two? Did I make two of them? What? Hold on. Wait, what's... I'm so confused. What's happening? Did I make two? I, di I didn't, did I? Oh, wait. So, hold on. So, for, for air weapons, when you make it, it just immediately replaces what you had there before? Hey, that was, that was a that was a great up. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. All right, well, I'll take it. Uh oh, 
Both cleaner cells have now been revealed. Destroying a cell will end cleaner activity in the linked regions and give the opportunity to collect additional cleaner data. So also weaken the cleaner headquarters by removing the associated bonus from the defenders. Well, that's a little bit on the close side. I'm going to wait until daylight is nearly here. I'm going to assign new uh, project here. I don't know what, but a new project nonetheless. Um, I guess we'll do... Did I... I didn't do another shotgun. We, we can do another shotgun, maybe? Or the rifle? Like, I don't really want to use our, our Elenium, but these aren't using Elenium. These are using alloys, which are also not great, technically. You know what? I'll start production on a couple of these, and I'll do maybe two more of these, because I think we can... It's not going to take a long time to do, but I think it's going to help us. We're going to have more options available to us. Alright. Daylight is essentially here. We need to... We don't actually need to bring our stun weaponry and stuff here with us, I don't think, at this stage, because this should just be human-on-human -human violence, which, you know... We're well known for it says the humans that we be. Uh, I think I can get rid of this, and I think I can throw one of these in there. Yeah, all right, you're feeling really, really good. Um, let's see here. Let me just chuck another one of your, your big heavies in there. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. That's true. Uh, we only have three. All right. So how much does this weigh? Eight. It's two. We get rid of the two. TUs are 72, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. I could go with another grenade. You know what? I will. I will. I was, I was, I was thinking, like, maybe I should do something else. And just take the one TU penalty. That's fine. Keep raising that strength up. Uh, you're at max HP again, which is great. You are not. You're at 49. You're missing 10. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's let's uh, let's roll out. Launch combat team. Show mission briefing. Uh, the cleaner cell controls operations in North America, Latin America, and Europe. Destroying it will reduce cleaner activity in those regions. Cleaner forces in this area use improved weapons, which they are also supplying to the cleaner headquarters. Uh, we have to eliminate the VIP. This stays forever, so might not be a good plan to do this. I don't know. All right, well, we're going to give it a shot and see. You know what I kind of want to do? kind of want to break it off here before we actually head into the mission, and I think I will. I think I'll fly over to the mission, but we'll break it off there. And then what we're going to do is I'll have the save state in case we go through, we try it, and we just absolutely can't do it instead of losing all of those troops and then trying to continue from there, which I may also try doing. Uh, we can at least revert back to prior to going into the mission. I think that'll work. That way it doesn't just like end or completely cripple our run. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, if it's minor mistakes, I get somebody shot, like uh, when Commissar got absolutely massacred inside the uh, alien U or the alien spacecraft. Um, we let it ride. He didn't die, which is great. I'm super happy about that. But uh, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's go there. What is mission briefing? Oh. Okay, cleaner should uh, eliminating the leader VIP should effectively shut down the cleaner activity in the local region. Additionally, the computer systems are likely to contain valuable data that may help us expose a cleaner network. Kill the VIP and return soldiers to dropship for evacuation. Uh, alternate stun the VIP. Oh, okay, maybe we do switch this up. See, I'm glad I checked this. Uh, Xenonauts evacuate without having killed VIP. All are eliminated. It is not possible to win this mission via eliminating all hostiles as the enemy reinforcements. Oh, that's poopy. Cleaner computers contain data that will advance our work to expose the cleaner network. Stunning and capturing the VIP will greatly do it. Okay, well, that changes things, sort of. Uh, I don't like it. 
Okay. So let's just try to do the stunning thing. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, well, we're, we're going to give it a shot. That means our, our frontliners are not going to actually be able to do damage. And I, and I really dislike that a lot, by the way. Okay, well, that's that's what we're rolling with for you guys. Can we make uh, any kind of exceptions with you, Milk? I think so. I think Decepticon Zombie could drop a little bit here and there. Maybe throw... Oh, I don't have more. Oh. Yeah, we were going to make some more. Um, I mean, we could wait a little bit of time, right? Surely stuff's about to be made. Stun batons. Yeah, I think that, that'll work. Five hours for at least one. I think we'll roll out with the one. That should be enough, right? Uh, Decepticon zombie. Did it not finish, really? It's one hour away. And now, still no. Now it has to exist, right? Still no, really? It was one hour away. Okay, how about now? Hey, it exists now. I feel like we might have w missed our window that we were hoping to go for there. Uh, all right. Septicon zombie, throw this into the mix. I think I'm going to replace this as your primary and have this as your offhand. Uh, I'm going to drop a little bit of weight. Flashbang. How much is that? Four, and you can do three. I, that's fine. You know what? We could do this. We can maybe carry one of these. Oh, that's four as well. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I guess that's what we're working with. Nighttime is still far away. We're going to launch our combat team. I guess on over there. Skyhawk. So, see how we have, like, these other options here? I feel like we can actually launch more than one dropship. I don't know if that's true, but it looks like that's a possibility. All right, well, let's get our booties over there. We're going in. Going right on down to Miami. Okay. Well, I think we're going to break it off right here. In the next episode, we're going to go take our tactical mission. We're going to do our very, 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 very best to take them all down and uh, whoop their uh, bootes, uh, stun and capture their leader and get out of there and hope it all goes well with no losses that's the plan the goal the hope the dream we'll see if it's a reality all right folks till the very next episode i have been your host bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show we play we fight we conquer <laughs>